everyone and welcome to another episode of Dogcraft. My name is Stacy, and I'm joined as always by the Minecraft versions of my real life dogs, Paige and Molly, who oh, just got out of bed. Good morning, Molly. Uh, so in today's episode, we are going to actually be taking a bit of a break from all of the Halloween preparations uh, that we've been doing. Oh, I should not be holding my sword indoors. That's not a good idea. Uh, anyway, we're going to take a little bit of a break from that. We've been, you know, building our corn maze and decorating with pumpkins and working on our pumpkin patch. And we're still going to have a big Halloween party at the end of the month. However, I wanted to take a quick episode to actually explore one of the mods that I added a couple of episodes ago that I didn't really get to do a lot of uh, with, and that was deco craft. So I'm gonna be adding just a few little flourishes around my world using deco craft. Nothing too crazy, guys. I'm not gonna go complete. Okay, I'm gonna go a little crazy. Um, but not, not anything too insane. I'm not going to make it look... It's still going to be Minecraft. Uh, anyway, um, so I'm here in my kitchen. And if you remember, uh, DecoCraft uses these uh, red, blue, and green crafting clays uh, that I've been uh, creating with... Um, you make them with dye and dirt and sand. Uh, and so it's actually kind of interesting because... Um, you don't have to remember a lot of recipe ingredients, which is kind of fun. You just have to, I have them all written down here by my, uh, desk so I can kind of just plug them in. So that's nice on the one hand, but it is a little strange, but, uh, there we go. I have made a telescope, uh, and I bet you can guess where I'm going to put this. Uh, so let's go ahead and grab our cookies and head up to the Dalmatian plantation. Uh, we didn't go up here in the last episode. We're going to be adding uh, another name to the to the wall and uh, as a puppy. And today we're going to be adding Anthony Jr. And that is because Anthony, who goes by Weird Armadillo on Twitter, uh, sent me a picture of his corn maze. And... I got so many corn maze pictures that I showed in the last episode, uh, but I definitely wanted to show this one as well just because I thought it was extra super creative. Uh, he spelled out my name using blue and white stripes uh, because of my shirt, and he also had a bucket of milk, and I just thought, uh, and the paw print, it, it was just very, very creative, and it said uh, that it took him three hours. So I wanted to add that one and add you to the Dalmatian plantation. So let's go ahead and uh, breed Pongo with uh, Perdita, who has the light blue collar and is hiding right over here. Uh, there we go. So we have made little Anthony Jr. And the reason I named him Anthony Jr. is because uh, I had an Anthony uh, at number 42 and Weird Armadillo would not fit on the sign, uh, which is a first. That's never happened before. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and uh, actually there's one more thing I wanna craft with deco craft for my house. <gasps> Didn't even add my telescope. That's what I was coming up here to do. So a lot of you guys have said that I never come up here, and I guess I just proved that right by coming right back down. I never come up my spiral staircase to my rooftop garden, and here I am. So I thought I would add the telescope here. Uh, wait, I don't wanna look in that direction. What's over there? There's nothing to look at over there. Uh, I wanna look at, I wanna look at the stars or something. Okay, well, we're gonna have to, we'll have to mess with the, I think I can just, yeah, I can just break it and try to, to reset it somewhere. Like, what if I, what if I place it, like, here? Uh, now I'm looking over this way. I'm looking, ooh, this looks kind of in the direction of Bone Mountain, uh, which I still, uh, still have yet to finish, but I vow I vow I will finish you, Bone Mountain. I will finish you one of these days. Uh, anyway, so we'll just leave that telescope up there. Um, and then I wanted to go ahead and create something else for my house, for my art gallery in particular. Um, it's really kind of funny. I was just looking through this mod and they have a very, it's a random assortment of items, but some of the items that they use are just perfect for the world that I've already built here in Dogcraft, which is really exciting. Um, so let's see here, green and green. No, I've made a bird bath. I did not mean to make a bird bath. Red, 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 green, green, blue. Uh-oh, that's what I have written down. 
Oh. Okay, well, you know what? We'll make the bird bath because why not? It was meant to be an art easel. Uh, so we might have to check that in the next episode. Uh, but let's go ahead and go down and look at the art uh, that I got. For, I was See, I was going to put the art easel right here. So I know it exists. I must just have the recipe wrong. So we'll figure it out. Uh, but let's go ahead and get into uh, all of the artwork. This first one is when Paige flew out the door when we went on a walk. This is when I brought Basil the pork pie, but she says, I don't eat pork, I'm kosher. Uh, I've got a bunch of wafer who was hiding in the corn maze the whole time. Uh, this one is of all of the dogs and Lizzie the Squicken, the zombie who thought that he won. <laughs> uh, this is when I said that Paige is always pulling me on walks and I'm always pulling Molly, so my arms are always out like this when I'm walking them. Uh, Sage and her big moment trying to cross the finish line, and this person put on a striped shirt and braided their hair too this is from uh the long dark which is another series where i actually have to kill wolves um and then this is from bookcraft one quick announcement i have a facebook page now the link is in the description if you don't have a twitter you can now send me artwork uh on there Ah, I had been looking for you, little chick. I thought I saw you down in the basement, but you must have come up. So, I want to name this guy. Uh, she, actually, it's a girl. She will be a chicken soon enough, but she's an adorable little chick right now. What are you doing? You're just going to get really dizzy. This is actually so appropriate for what I want to name her. So because we built the corn maze in the last episode, which, by the way, a lot of you were commenting that uh, this chicken is making me laugh so much. A lot of you were commenting that uh, Sage really would have come out the gate, possibly if the gate had been double wide or if there had been more of a room for her to come out to. So we're going to go ahead and name it Sage's Maze. Uh, but... I wanted to name uh, an animal in Dogcraft after the corn maze, and I've always wanted to name an animal this. I always say if I got another dog, this would be one of my possible names that I would pick, um, which is this chicken. Honestly, uh, I should name you Dizzy, actually, but I wanted to name her Maisie, uh, which I love. Um, there we go. There you go, Maisie. You're just going to spin and spin and spin. You're not even in a maze right now, which is the most ironic thing. This is what you would do in a maze, but you're just going to do it right here. <laughs> is she going to stop? Oh, dear. I wonder if she's just going to be there when I get back. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and sleep. Um, and then in the morning, we will go ahead and go on over to the rest of the area of Dogcraft where I want to add some DecoCraft touches. Um, and actually, I'm going to bring Addison with me. Addison is feeling much better, um, and she's going to come with me as well. So let's go, Addison. Come on down. Well, she'll teleport. Um, let's look at the chicken. Oh, Maisie's in the corner. She, oh, nope, there, oh, oop. Oh, she's very dizzy. She's walking a little, a little drunkenly. And now she's going upstairs. Uh, all right. Bye, Maisie. Um, okay, so... Actually, I just remembered. I just re oh, oh, no, don't escape, Maisie. Um, I just remembered one other thing I wanted to craft for the front of my house. And this is a Halloween decoration uh, that I saw. So let's see if I have the recipe right and if I have enough. I think I have enough of the clay still. A green, a green, and a green, and then a red, and a blue. No! Oh, I've gotten so many of my... Oh, no, wait, the green's supposed to be up here. <gasps> there we go. Let's add, um, let's do three of each if we have enough. Yep. One, two, three. And one, two, three. Oh, we don't have enough. Okay, well, that's all right. We'll just do, we'll just do two. There we go. Oh, no, wait, we did get three. Uh, so this is a spider candle. Um, and I actually haven't seen it yet. Um, I don't think it, I don't think it's lit like a real candle. But I thought it would be a fun little decoration uh, to continue with our, our little pumpkins that we have out here. So if I place it. Oh, look how cute that is. Oh, little spider. It's like a little spider pumpkin. I'm going to put one there too. That's adorable. So see, I said that we had to do just like a... Oh, skeleton. What are you doing here? Yeah, uh, no, don't, don't. Yeah, there we go. Um, all right, Addison. So I was thinking actually, now that we have this bird bath that I didn't plan on having... Uh, I think we should put it in here. Uh, and Wafer's back, everyone. Wafer's back. And where's Nilla? 
Oh no. Don't tell me that Nilla has run off now. Oh, one of my dogs is, uh, Molly's just shaking her ears in the background. I forgot to take her collar off. <gasps> Where's Nilla? Oh, are you kidding me? Guys, I think that Nilla must, look at me just casually holding a birdbath. I think Nilla must have gone out in search of Wafer. <gasps> This is horrible news. Ah, oh, just when I thought I had one bunny uh, back, now the other one is lost. Um, all right, right. Let's put down the bird bath. Uh, let's try it here. Oh, look at that. Look how pretty that looks. We're just going to, um, oh, I'm so sad that Nilla is missing now. And we're also going to ignore the fact that there are no birds uh, in dog craft uh, and not think about that. Um, all right, Addison, why don't we come over? And you know what I was actually just thinking? It just occurred to me that we need to go get, um, we need to go get, uh, Basil from the vet. We never got Basil from Dr. Nine Healer after, um, after the lightning strike. So let's come in here and see if, uh, if he or she, actually a lot of people corrected me that Basil is actually a girl. Um, that's a little embarrassing. It's not like I'm her owner or anything. Um, and yes, yeah, she seems to be fine. So thank you, Dr. Nine Healer. Great work as always. Um, but we're going to come ahead and take Basil. Come on, Basil. Basil, Basil will teleport as well, but she also, I have to be a little bit more careful because she doesn't have any talents uh, like Addison and the other wolves have. And so uh, she is uh, kind of, she can die. She can drown, she can fall, she can die. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and come uh, into, let's go through the Quonset uh, because I have a little setup back there. And, oh, hello, pig. What are you doing here? Um, all right, so uh, I don't know if I've showed you guys the Quonset since I put in the skylights. I don't think I have. Hmm, well, I put in skylights. Here they are. This is them. <laughs> I'm sorry, I probably should have done like a, a more grand reveal about that. What are you doing in there? Pillow? What? And I think I see another gray shoe. And there's, okay, this is so interesting to me because these fences are fine, but for some reason the animals are able to glitch out of them uh, and, and they always want to go into the cow pen, which is so strange. And I feel really bad, but I actually do need some pork uh, for my dogs. So we're going to have to, um, we're going to have to use uh, the pigs that sadly uh, were not in where they were supposed to be. Uh, there we go. Oh, my pocket knife is back. Oh, but my lantern is missing. Very odd. Um, okay, let's go ahead and come back here. I have all the other puppies here. Um, and I wanted to add something in uh, the school, in Addison's Academy. I'm actually not sure I'm going to like it very much. Oop, I need some green. I should have some. Yep, I've got quite a... Oh, I've got quite a few in here. Um, okay, so let's see here. One green and then three red gets me a chalkboard. So let's go ahead and see... Um, here guys, Wink and Everest and Noah, you guys can sit up, um, say hi to Basil. Uh, now Basil actually, welcome to the school Basil. This is somewhere that you might be coming if I decide to make you part of the pack. A lot of people are saying that I really need to pay more attention to all of my dogs in dog craft, not just, uh, not just the wolves, but all the other dogs, but particularly Basil and Tucker and Droplet and Splat. So, Basil, you might be coming to school here soon. Um, okay, I'm going to... I, I think I have some bricks on me. I'm going to go ahead and um, fill in some bricks here because I don't think the chalkboard is the right size. Um, I'm also not sure that it is centered. So I'm not sure I'm going to really uh, like the way that it looks compared to the wool. But it's just so, like, it's just such a coincidence that there's a chalkboard. So let's go ahead and try. Oh, nope. It's not centered at all. How does that even work that there's a teeny little? All right. So we're going to have to maybe, um, maybe put some bricks here. But that's still probably going to bother me that it's. 
that it's off center, but the desks are off center. So I guess that looks okay. Uh, let's see. Two plus two equals fish. <laughs> that must be Noah. And then it looks like you've got two times equal sign equals question mark and pi five and someone's drawing hangman. That was no doubtedly you wink. Uh, so it seems like I might have to work a little bit more with my wolves. Um, if that chalkboard is any indication of their intelligence, um, I'm in a little bit of trouble. Uh, and actually, I wanted to make one more thing, too. Um, we're going to be building something back here in today's episode. But I wanted to make one more thing that I just thought was so, like, just a coincidence that it exists in... Uh, this mod now guys I promise you I had no idea this was here when I built uh, Honey Moo Moo's milk shack um, so if I take a red one here oh wait what is that a squirrel plushie yeah let's make a squirrel plushie it's just like a little doll guys there's a squirrel toy for you get it get it oh Paige will love it um, okay, so if I put three green on the bottom, and then I think it was just one red on the top here. Look at this! It's a baby bottle! And it is the exact color of the baby bottle that I made in uh, over here by the vet. And I'm telling you, I had no clue uh, when I picked the baby blue uh, that this actually existed. Hello, Honey Moo Moo! So I'm going to actually go ahead and take the milk uh, the milk sign off uh, because I think it's only right that I put up the baby bottle look at that and then I can just store some milk in there and keep all my milk in there um, and don't let honey moo moo out whatever you guys do she's got to stay in here uh, and stay milking so I'm gonna actually run back up to bed now uh, and then in the morning uh, we'll get to work on the last thing that I want to do with deco craft so you guys all sit down here uh, just so you don't come up and, um, and where are you going at it? Fine. Uh, I will be right back. Actually, ugh, it's not even sunset yet. Let's go ahead and put our spider candle. Um, ooh, can we put it in our kitchen? That <gasps> Maisie, you just grew up before my very eyes. Did you see? Oh, and you have a friend in here in the tree. <gasps> Maisie, you're an adult chicken. Hello. Let's go ahead and put our little candle right there. Oh, that's a cute little touch. Um, all right, Maisie. Uh, oh, <gasps> apparently Maisie likes dog food. Huh. It's unexpected. What are you eating, Maisie? Nothing. There's nothing in here. Do you want some pork? That's strange. Uh, she's one of the dogs already, and I actually didn't even think about the cats, about Stampy and Milk Toast, and if they would get along with Maisie... Um, I, I, yeah, I can't sleep yet. It's not night, but the sun is going down. So let's just wait for a few seconds. Um, and maybe we should try to get, maybe we should try to get Stampy and Milk Toast back into the cat corner. Just while Maisie is getting settled into things. Uh, let's see if they'll follow me in here. Uh, there's cake! Stampy! There's cake! Come on, guys. No? Fine. Well, I'm going to go to sleep now, and um, the last thing that we're going to do is build uh, three more things using the DecoCraft mod. And when I saw these in the mod pack, I could not believe that they existed. Um, well, not that they existed. I believe that they existed. However, the colors, I couldn't believe that they existed. So if you remember, I have uh, three uh, primary colors that I use in uh, the agility course. Everything is red, white, uh, well, actually, it's red, yellow, and blue, and then white, uh, back there in the doggy agility course. Come on, guys. And, um, oh, the squirrel scared me. Uh, okay, so what we're going to build today is, uh, let's see here, blue, and, uh-oh, uh-oh, someone needs pork, blue, green, and then, Red, 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 and red. <gasps> there we go. We have a slide. Um, who needs pork? Actually, I need to eat something really quickly. Uh, who's at... Noah was at 2, but now he's at 82. 
Is it Everest is at one? Oh, nope, it's Wink, of course. There you go, Wink. Um, everyone else is okay for now. Uh, okay, so it's a slide. So I thought right here I would build a little bit of a, um, like a little jungle gym. Uh, and actually, I think it's really appropriate because um, it's right by a school. So this is like recess and everything, the slide, as you can see, or let me put it down here. I don't want to lose all these flowers, but I guess, I guess we have to. <gasps> oh, Everest, can I feed you steak? I'm not sure I can feed you cooked steak. <gasps> well, I can. Um, all right, let's grab these flowers. We can replant them in the garden, actually, which is good. Um, so I'm going to place the slide down and I have no idea if the dogs are actually going to be able to use this. Let's go ahead and place it like there. Oh, that's not the direction I... Okay, well, that works, I guess. Um, all right. Look, it's blue and red and yellow, which is the exact same color as the agility course, which I just thought was so much fun. Um, so let's go ahead and craft the other two, which are uh, red, 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 and red, and red, and then green there... And then blue. I could never memorize these at all. There we go. We have a seesaw. And then the final one is blue, 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 uh, red. I don't think we'll be using this mod very much, guys. Possibly at Christmas time. But it's definitely not something that I'm going to be remembering a lot of the, the recipes from. Uh, wait, I think I missed a red. There we go. And we've got the swing. So let's go ahead and place the swing down. This squirrel is driving me nuts. Uh, okay. I just got the joke! <laughs> this squirrel is driving me nuts. Oh, whoops. Sorry, guys. Unintentional bad pun. Uh, okay. Let's go ahead and put the swing here. <gasps> oh, that looks nice. And then we just have to put the seesaw down, like, um, here. There we go! And then I thought what I would do as well is take... <gasps> Wink is on the seesaw! He loves it! Okay, Wink, here, I'll get on this... Oh, oh Wink is go Wink's going crazy now. Um, I thought what we could do is dig out some of the ground underneath and add in like a sand layer and we'll just kind of like there'll be no rhyme or reason to it it'll just kind of be like anywhere um it won't be it'll be kind of like free flowing actually i only have 23 sand blocks so i'm probably gonna have to finish the rest of it uh off camera uh because i'm gonna have to go collect more sand um but i thought i would just place like a little bit of sand everywhere because you know like when you jump off the swing and stuff um, so it won't be everywhere. It'll just be kind of like a, a cute little assortment and can I actually can I get on the, the slide? I'm gonna try to get on the slide uh, Am I on the ladder? Am I, on? <gasps> I think I'm on it. Look at me. Um, well I'm kind of in it Okay, I, I guess it's not for it's not for humans. It's for dogs um, So obviously I can't I can't really use it. Oh there I went, I went down it kind of um, I don't think the dogs will use it either. They're much more into the agility course. Um, but I still think it's kind of cute and it goes with the school. Like it's recess time and I just, it was too perfect not to use because of the red, the blue, and the yellow from the agility course, which I built, uh, probably at the very beginning of the series almost. And the school I think I built at the, the beginning of September. So I thought it just completed this little area that I didn't really know what to do with. Uh, and then we'll, we'll bring the, um, the sandstone path uh, right by the playground and then into the agility course. And should we do it with all of, I don't think I've ever done it with this many dogs, um, especially with Basil as well. So let's just do one little round. All right, guys, here we go. On your mark, get set, go. All right, first jump down, second jump in the water. Let's see if who's doing it. Wink is bypassing it. Oh, Basil's doing really, really well. Up the stairs. Noah's the first up. Uh, Basil did it too. Basil's actually, you know, Basil got struck by lightning, but it's not holding him back. Through the tunnel. Anybody? Anybody. None of the dogs opted for the tunnel. Such a surprise. Through the bob and weave. Through the bob and weave. Anybody? Anybody? Oh, oh, Addison a little bit. And then through the hoop. 
I messed it up a little bit. Who's gonna do it? Anybody? Anybody? Noah! Basil! Yay, guys! Good girl, Basil. Uh, all right, everyone. That is going to do it for today's episode of Dogcraft. Uh, but thank you so much for watching. And um, in the next episode, I think we will probably get back to our, our Halloween stuff. Um, but I just thought that this was kind of fun to add uh, all of these elements from this mod. Uh, that I really... What did I get the mod for originally? I think it was only for the pumpkins? I can't remember. I think it was really just for the pumpkins, but look at how much we've uh, we've accomplished with it uh, in addition to that. So, all right, guys, until next time, Paige and Molly love you. Go rescue a dog.